Police are still investigating Northwest Academy in Amargosa Valley. The Nye County Sheriff's Office arrested a teacher and charged him with child abuse, neglect, or endangerment. Detectives found several victims who say they were assaulted. Students told police they had injuries, broken bones, and they didn't get medical care. During that investigation, the Sheriff's Office also discovered the school's water has high levels of arsenic and other dangerous chemicals. Students complained they drank and showered in the contaminated water. Some of them broke out in rashes and got sick. Fox 5's Tiana Bonner asked an expert what that means for students. John Christine, I talked to CSN professor Doug Sims. He studies arsenic and its levels in our valley's water. He breaks down how drinking that con contaminated water for years, even months, would cause serious health problems, especially in children who are still growing. Arsenic is, it, it is a carcinogen. It's very bad for you. Arsenic, along with other toxic chemicals found in the water at Northwest Academy. And what happened out there is th uh, they're pulling their water from a well, so it's going to have arsenic by definition. The, the key is, is what is the level? When did they know the level exceeded the MCL of the federal government? In 2017, the State Bureau of Safe Drinking Water discovered the school's water treatment system wasn't working. In 2018, the state ordered Northwest Academy to fix the problem. Instead, a year later, the sheriff's office found this. Detectives discovered that staff was providing bottled drinking water to the juveniles, but limiting them to only three small bottles of water per day. Students told investigators they were drinking and bathing in the water daily. Multiple juveniles reported rashes that had developed on their skin, which they believe was from showering in contaminated water. Doctors tested the students and confirmed that link. These are children, their systems are still developing at, at various stages, and, and that's the concern that I would have. We wanted to learn more about arsenic and its effects. If you had high enough amounts of arsenic, you would taste a semi-metallic flavor. CSN professor Dr. Doug Sims says even though the school's arsenic level was triple the standard, students wouldn't have noticed. That's about uh, four or five grains of salt into a, an entire liter of water. You're not going to taste it even three times that level. You're not going to smell it, taste it, or feel it either. But Dr. Sims says it's likely students will notice long-term health problems. If you're taking small amounts or trace amounts and not know it for years or even months, you're going to actually see some issues later on in life. State officials add arsenic can lead to cancer, heart problems, diabetes, and other chronic issues. Dr. Sims says these are the early warning signs. They need to look to see if their children develop rashes, if they have uh, hair falling out, an unusual uh, you know, schedule or, or too much hair falling out. Are they getting diarrhea? Diarrhea is another symptom of arsenic exposure. Now, despite what doctors confirmed to investigators, the State Department of Environmental Protection says it has not found any data that links the arsenic found in the water to those students' rashes. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Fox 5 went to Northwest Academy today. School officials did not say if the water problem had been fixed, but they did confirm the campus is still open. 